Hey, Pop, Mr. King's never gonna buy any of your songs. Why don't we just forget about it and go on home? Are you crazy? This is a chance of a lifetime. There he is! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no! There he is, son. I knew, I knew my heart could never stand being my idol. You're my favorite. Oh, I never been so close to nobody before. Oh, oh. Uh, What's the matter? When I saw you, my heart went pity pat. That's terrible. Well, if you don't like that one, how about life is just a bowl of warm menudo? I got a hundred songs right here. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, I, uh, forgive my father, but see, he's trying to break into show business as a songwriter. Yeah, you see, just like you did when, when you used to play at the Kit Kat Club in St. Louis. I'm probably your biggest fan, Mr. King. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby, we can't be late for that dinner appointment with your manager. Man, you know, I get sick of the road. For once, I'd just like to spend an evening with some down-home folks. Well, get out, Lamont. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, Mr. King, uh, how about you having dinner at our house tomorrow? And I can take you away from all these least for one night anyway. And we can talk about St. Louis in the good old days. Who knows? Maybe we knew some of the same people. Yeah, my pop's a great cook. <laughs> it sounds terrific. Yeah, I know it sounds yeah, it's a crazy idea, but think about it. He said yes. What a thrill. Uh, Mr. King, my name is Sanford, and uh, Fred Sanford, this is my son, Lamont. How you do? You know, uh, if you remember the good old days, then, Fred, maybe you'd get a kick out of my book. I sure would. There you are. Why I Sing the Blues by B.B. King. I can't wait to read it. Yeah, here's our address. Thank you. Seven o'clock, all right? Uh, perfect. Uh, Mr. King, uh, do you think that when you come over to the house tomorrow that you might be able to listen to some of my songs? Are they any good? Good? My name is Fred G. Sanford, and the G is for Grammy. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Yeah. Yeah. It's 7 o'clock now. We'll be waiting for you. Okay. You coming over tomorrow? Yeah, that's good. Hey, Pop. <laughs> I'm sorry. You made me lose my place, and I, I was just getting to the heart of the mystery, too. Mystery, Pop? This is B.B. King's autobiography. This is not a detective story. What mystery are you talking about? The mystery of B.B.'s B.B.'s. <laughs> well, after seeing B.B.'s show last night, I say it stands for Big B. How about Beer Belly? <laughs> hey, Pop, dig yourself. And besides, shouldn't you start dinner? They'll be here in about an hour. I will, son, as soon as I finish this last chapter, which tells why B.B. really sings the blues. OK, I'll be in the kitchen getting everything else ready. OK. Hey, Lamont, come here quick. Huh? Listen to this. I started singing the blues the day my true love left me for another man. So? There's more. She was a shoemaker's daughter in St. Louis, and when she left me, she broke my heart. Hey, wait a minute. Grandpa was a shoemaker in St. Louis. What a coincidence. Well, how is this for a coincidence? At the time, I was a down-and-out singer named Riley King. So I can't blame her for running off with a man who wanted to start his own business in California. Does that sound familiar? Hey, wait a minute, Pop. You don't think he's talking about Mom? Well, listen to this. If I ever find a man who took my beloved E.W. away from me, I promise to get even. E.W. Elizabeth Winfield. Pop, that was Mom's maiden name before she married you. I've come a long way from St. Louis, but not far enough. <laughs> B.B. King is going to kill me. I'm coming to join you, E.W. I'll be the one with the electric guitar shoved up my nose. <laughs>